What is going on gamers? I am setting up a new scenario for a YouTube world. It's kind of based off of this video I watched a few days ago where somebody made a, a world map based off of YouTube. Uh, I tried to somewhat fill the map out with a lot of YouTube uh, channels. I didn't fully map it out because I, I want some people to colonize a little bit. So we're going to see if they can do that. Uh, and yeah, we got the diploma diplomacy all set up. We got the Bro Pact with PewDiePie, Mr. Beast, Jacksepticeye, Call Me Carson, Grande, Dolan Dark, Pyro, and then all the true gamers. <laughs> we got the Paul Brother Alliance, the Strategy Gamer Alliance, and the 2016 Alliance. So this is kind of how the map is going to be set up. Uh, in terms of the, uh, the countries, California is packed to the brim. Uh, a lot of these aren't in alliances, but... Overall, we kind of got them kind of filled up here. I tried to make the map semi-okay, but it kind of got all over the place. So we're going to see what happens. California is the most packed. I'd say Britain uh, and the UK is probably second with a lot of countries as well. So it's kind of our world map. We got the Midwest as well and the East kind of right here. We got Marshmallow. Justin Bieber, WWE, which is down here, but I gave them a lot of this, and I gave them that too because they have a big channel. We got the Lifehack Lightbulb channel, which I literally forgot the name of, so I don't care about them. So I just said, you know what, we'll call them the Lifehack Lightbulb channel. Everybody knows who I'm talking about. Nobody cares about them, but yeah, we'll, we'll put them down as well. And then we got Coco Melon down here in South America. So we're going to have them colonize. We got T-Series and PewDiePie as well. So anything can really happen. And it'll be kind of interesting to see what all happens. Definitely going to be a scramble for Africa. It looks like starting out Eminem is firing shots at Justin Bieber. I think Eminem might come out on top here. But Justin Bieber, you know, he's got baby up his sleeve. And that song, you know, it has a lot of views. So Justin might win, maybe? Question mark. He's also going after Marshmallow with a major military force of 30 troops. That's pretty scary stuff. Marshmallow only wishes he had 30 troops. I mean, he's got 3,000, but I mean, close enough, you know. Who's the strongest populated country right now? Looks like PewDiePie has retaken his throne over T-Series. That's a good thing to see. Uh, it looks like Spain is also a fighting ground. Is KSI getting seized out? Jesus Christ. KSI is dead. <laughs> they killed him. Bruh, <laughs> KSI is gone. He was in control of London and all of the, the United Kingdom for the most part. And now he's just gone. They wiped him out completely. Deji still survives though, so maybe he'll carry you, KSI. KSI got wiped out by the Bro Brotherhood. Bruh. Looks like the Life Hack Empire is going after the Paul Brothers. F's in the chat, guys. The biggest controversy the Paul Brothers and Life Hack channel. I never knew. Oh, bro, is Logan not helping? Bruh. Logan is literally ditching Jake Paul. I see how you are, Logan. Psychopath. Channel might straight up take over the world. Like, I, I didn't know it would happen like this, but it looks like Lifehack Channel might be un unbeatable unless Mr. Beast gets involved or Eminem or somebody. Dude Perfect, maybe. Yeah, maybe they could do something. So, for the most part, the world has kind of been colonized. I guess Africa is still open to the public, but it looks like not a whole lot of people are, are really taking advantage of it, other than maybe Jacksepticeye and Little Karibo, who look like they're... Oh, and Mr. Beast has quite a bit over here, too, I guess. I'm not sure why he's colonizing Africa, but Mr. <laughs> Mr. Beast buys Africa video. Bruh. It's all coming together, guys. It's all coming together. Holy shit, Dude Perfect is going after WWE. Who will be the, the ruler of the sports universe? Find out next time on Pokemon. <laughs> I feel like the WWE might win this, but it's kind of hard to tell at the moment. Dude Perfect is taking them out of North America as we speak. Oh shit, and ooh, the battle we wanted has occurred as well. Eminem and Mr. Beast, the biggest drama of 2022. Who will come out on top? I'm assuming Mr. Beast has to win this, right? Mr. Beast has more money. I mean, he's got to be able to push Eminem back, right? But he has angered Marshmallow. Marshmallow might come for you, Mr. Beast. You got to watch out. 
shit, and we didn't even see this going on. Apparently the Bros and T-Series have broken out into conflict as well. I'm assuming T-Series is about to get actually fucked right here, because PewDiePie has the population and the economy advantage. Not to mention allies, so... T-Series is about to get fucked? Question mark? Oh, and Coco Melon got involved as well. And Marshmallow, Eminem, Big War broke out. This is World War One, <laughs> The World War One of YouTube. Uh, Mr. Beast's not looking so good over here. He's got a two-front war with uh, Marshmallow and Eminem. We kind of knew this was coming, but damn. Mr. Beast is going to have to hold out that front line of uh, America. Looks like for the most part Africa is safe, though. In terms of the life hack empire that looks like they've taken out FaZe Clan and kind of killed off the Paul brothers as well. So the Pauls are done. R.I.P. Paul brothers. <laughs> Leafy is here. Kind of doing okay, I guess. He's going after Call Me Carson, or I think they teamed up and killed Call Me Carson. Uh, Dude Perfect, still strong. Drew Durnell has killed... Ooh, Drew Durnell took out Belle Delphine, the end of the simp kingdom. But they are at war with Leafy, so Leafy technically does not like our strategy gaming community. I'm gonna keep it going for a little bit more. I don't. I think the bros are probably not gonna do very good. That's what we were kind of thinking. Um, but they might come back. I kind of want them to come back. They're kind of the underdog now, and uh, I think they do still technically control the population majority. So they. they I think a lot of people have died <laughs> in this war. I think that's why the population is so low right now. But, uh, yeah, we're kind of seeing the, the rebuild. Mr. Beast might be able to survive here. But uh, WWE killed Marshmallow. So that's a big F in the chat for Marshmallow, too. Fortnite did not say <laughs> did not save Marshmallow. Looks like Little Karibo's capital has been seized out by PewDiePie. And now the troops are, if I don't fucking move the map everywhere. Now the troops are rolling into Libya, Algeria, and Morocco to finish off the job. Hopefully they get the victory here. Mr. Beast is trying to retake his homeland, but it's not going the greatest. He did take back the Empire State Building from Eminem, so maybe things are looking up. But other than that, Mr. Beast has a long ways to go. He has retaken his capital, though, so maybe maybe we'll see Mr. Beast make a comeback here. For all, though, I think this has been a pretty good and very long episode of this video. So if you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe, and if you want to see a part two... Just tell me in the comments, you know, just, just tell me. And yeah, peace.